Uh, only one of these right here is real gold. So you can use a high powered magnet like a neodymium magnet to figure out what that would be. So go ahead and take your guess. This one's not magnetic, but it's silver in color. So it's sterling silver, more than likely. This one has ferrous metal in it. This one does not react. That one reacts. That one definitely reacts. Once you find something that doesn't react, you're going to look around for a purity mark inside of it, which usually is best done the microscope. There we go, we see the 925. That's the mark for sterling silver. Generally, the marks for purity are going to be either on the clasp or nearby on chains. You can see right there on the toggle is the 14 karat mark on this chain. And sometimes there will be a 14 karat mark at the other end. In this case, not the case. Look again on the other side. The other side has a manufacturer. So those are the two quick and easy ways that you can sort through the difference between costume, jewelry, silver, and solid gold is by using a magnet and testing it with a magnet versus testing it uh, um, with acids and then of course magnification. One quick note here, this is the, the 14 karat gold chain. You'll see the chain does not react, the clasp does. And the reason for that is because the clasps, even in solid gold items, do contain small bits of steel to help give them their springiness. So that's why you wanna test multiple parts of a chain. And if it just reacts to the clasp, don't worry about that.